Uh. Yeah, is, uh, there we go. The freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> is Trina there? Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch mouth. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give her fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. <laughs> but I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. But get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. Oh, I told you he has some shit. <clears throat> oh, my sound is on. We good? What up? Oh, hey. they're back. It's getting warm. It's starting to get warm. D got her bug zapper over there. <laughs> I do. She actually scraped that motherfucker and eat them motherfuckers with oh, the hot sauce. Very funny. <laughs> I don't. 5150 back in the house, motherfucking the, the, the 100 side of the game, yeah. Cam. Yeah. <laughs> Darlene OGOTs. What's up? Zoe Williams Zoe. in this motherfucker. Yeah, my nigga. T shirt he washed with the blue jeans in this bitch. Oh, oh. <laughs> now see, you know, disrespect my T-shirt. What that shirt say? That's different. It says Eshu. What that mean? It's uh, from the Yoruba Ifa tradition of mm-hmm. Africa. Mm-hmm. Well, what is it, does it actually? Eshu do? opens it's- doors. Mm-hmm. Opens the door in your life. Okay. I thought that's what gatekeeper you sh- opens the door. I, I thought that was how you sneeze. You be- Eshu. Eshu. I knew you was going. I knew oh. it. Well, my bad. God damn. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. The power <laughs> of Hollywood is real. The power of Hollywood is real. Jesse <laughs> got the fuck off. Am I right? Yeah, pretty much. He beat all that shit. Pretty much. Yeah, and just threw at him the 10 G's like, tan, keep that. <laughs> For them motherfuckers to launch an investigation They intended on Getting his ass For them to go get their murderous camera um, Footage Because the city of Chicago Witnesses all kind of murders That they don't report But they'll go do it To go see what Jesse did Look at our cameras Where we really be watching niggas get murked all the time yeah, And not do anything about it And not right. do anything not about it anything. To get this nickel Let's motherfucking watch our footage. Damn. But somehow the power of Hollywood went to Chicago and said, eh, eh. This little red boy is not going to jail. He's sucking dick with us. You will not be sucking jail dick, Jesse Smollett. You will be sucking Hollywood dick. You have put too much Hollywood work in. Made niggas dick erupt like baby burpings. Might be that good. He just might be that good then, hey. Hell yeah. That's Hollywood. They don't let niggas get off once the city grab you. Who the fuck else gonna get him off? Well, you know that the police department and the mayor are now going head up against the district attorney's office because they're pissed. They're like, we done did all this. Well, who dropped the ball? That. That's the no, question. The district attorney's office is the ones that made the call, and they don't they don't have the details yet as to what kind of deal he got, like how because it's closed, it's sealed, but everything hmm. is done. He, he everything's got the clean. warm throat deal. But they're not happy about it. The police department and the mayor are pissed. But that girl, um, Kim Fox, that's the I gave you the picture of that, Frank. I think. Okay, she's, um, it looks like she, she's opened some other doors because somebody, again, you remember how in the- Wait a minute, people don't know who Kim Fox is, okay, you gotta say. Okay, she works for the district at, uh, attorney's office, mm-hmm. and she dropped, she got off the case in the beginning, and they didn't know why, and another guy took over at that point. Now, come to find out, just like how they did in the beginning of the case, where that stuff was leaking, the cops mm-hmm. were leasing stuff out to the public, mm-hmm. now, with this happening, instantly, now all of a sudden, these, um, uh, Notes and things are appearing of her having something to do with the connection with his family. So Let me tell you something. They have text from her between her and his family. 
the, 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 the city don't want you to know that they know. So that's sure. The dick sucking uh, mobs of America. Um, what's that? The DSMA. The DSMA. Dick sucking mobs of America. That's not nice. Which she looks like Chewbacca. That's not nice. Sent one of them little little yellow yellow um, sticky notes to the right motherfucker, and he was like, "Let him go." So all you dudes who fuck who got a gay son, teach your son to hang with Hollywood dick sucking mob of America niggas, and he can beat shit like this, cause niggas don't beat this type of shit. I, 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 I R. Kelly need to get with them motherfuckers and quit sucking niggas' dick. He wanna suck, suck the niggas in Hollywood dick, so you can fuck little girls and tell them, motherfucker, I'm down with the DS, uh, DSMA, nigga. What does that stand for? Dick sucking mob of America. Oh my god. Where else you gonna get the fuck off on some shit like that? Could be some kind of money. Money. He ain't got money like that. That nigga gonna be on concert at motherfucker. That nigga gonna be on Dancing with the Stars this year. <laughs> Big brother. Y'all can act like I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Cause it might make you feel safer. But this dick sucking mob ain't no joke out here in LA. Why you think I'm sitting up in a storage doing a show? <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> When you see niggas like me in the underground, in the underground, we in the underground. This that ship on the Matrix. We're this the, the Nebuchadnezzar. Cat- right. We're in the, the catacombs. We ain't right. shit to them. Mm-hmm. But if you out here in Hollywood, all you comics around the nation who be calling me, Corey, can I do the show? No, I don't know you. I can't have you up under me, and I don't know you. But you can make it yes. if you are willing. To be on the DSMA side of the game. How the fuck else the nigga get off? Tell me how the nigga beat that. It's going to open up some can. Look, there's a can that's just been opened up. It's, something's going to happen. It just oh. all seems staged to me. Because mm-hmm. brothers don't just be getting off. I know they don't get off. Motherfuckers and went to jail for less. I seen now, niggas do jail time over joints. But right. Having a but joint what's happen to in those, Arizona. Those, what's going to happen to those brothers? What do you mean? One brother. Is something now? Oh, the two brothers that he brought are in. Are they going to say that um, they lied and because t- they went to the police and they told them that? So are they? Ain't nothing going to happen to them. It's just they going they going when they go audition for shit, they're going to be like it's them. <laughs> right. Stop. But see, Eric Garner got choked out oh. for selling loose cigarettes. Choked out, killed for selling loose cigarettes by 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 racist cops, right? Who was on that? That's what they was on. You feel me? So I, I'm just saying, little kids, uh, Tamir Rice, 12 years old, 11 years old, gets shot because the police officer thinks he has a gun. So you rarely see brothers just walk scot free on anything. Sandra Bland. Oh well, we arrested her. her. Next thing you know, the head shot while she was already dead. Yeah. So you see what I'm saying? Like, Mm. as reckless as they are, and then we see something that's totally out of the norm. A dude just somebody say I can't spell Nebuchadnezzar. I show okay, nigga. That's what you here for. It's niggas out here for learning how to spell shit. Mm. I boss out on other shit. Boss out on spelling, nigga. The fuck, nigga? You, you, I can't spell Nebuchadnezzar. I had to go back down the feed or look it up on my iPhone. Ask her to spell it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. So that I just think that that's 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 just a strange. Sorry, how do you spell Nebuchadnezzar? Nebuchadnezzar. It's right here, nigga. E B U. It's right here. H A D. Corpheus. E Z. Z A R. Ding. <laughs> hey Siri, what does it mean when I'm at your bitch crib chilling out? Okay, I found this on the web for what does it mean when I'm at your bitch crib chilling out? 
God dang it. <laughs> I can't with her today. Who gives a fuck, nigga, about spelling, nigga? It's all on the phone, stop, nigga. Your education was for nothing, nigga. Everything you learn in college is on these phones. Yeah, they're like, add this up. Hold on. Your college degree means shit no more, nigga. <laughs> Do you realize everything I want to like? Whatever fucking um, oh, equation you ask me, I can ask this call. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about, nigga? God damn it. <laughs> college is a gimmick, nigga. College is three card Molly, nigga. Yeah, yeah. If you don't got the, if you, if you can't. Watch. And if you got the money, you can cheat. And pay pass mm. all them pay pass. Hey, there, what all them doing yes. Yep. Yep. A lot of people, a lot of people don't understand. So uh. <laughs> you ain't got that on your shit, do you? What do you mean? We already talked. You about talked it. about it, but we already did. So explain your version of what these people did, and they gonna beat it. They, of course, they they just skipped the admissions. Paid for the money. Paid for everything. Paid for test taking. Photos. Fabricating. Yeah. The ath- athletic shit. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah, I'm on the yeah. team. You on the soccer team? I really? You. You All y'all motherfuckers them. filling out applications and shit and doing it the hard way. Your pile of shit. All you hard working niggas who learned. Your pile is in the sucker nigga pile. <laughs> you, <laughs> niggas, you a lame. Nothing. You tried in school. School ain't shit. School is where you go, so you ain't in the streets. If you if you're a kid, you need to be in school. It's safer in the school. Diamond Lane education, right? The diamond Lane of education. Not That's sure. crazy. These people and them just the ones they showing you get caught. Mm. Oh, it's some more out there, boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Vic Robinson. Look, oh, my goodness, Vic Robinson. George W. Bush. They said, oh, D- George W. Bush was a C student. But that didn't stop him from becoming president. Because well, it's all a hookup. Mm-hmm. They all hooked yeah. in. Everything a hookup, man. They ain't taking no all fucking tests. S- all you good spelling ass niggas. <laughs> we got a homie named Tokyo Good Life. This is a smart school nigga. But he has some different besides the motherfucking school shit. He has what you call talent. Creative, this nigga creative, creative yeah. talent. Mm-hmm. You bookworm motherfuckers, go sit in Starbucks with your coffee and your motherfucking laptop that's eight years old that you still can load CDs into, nigga. <laughs> While us dumb motherfuckers out here who didn't go to school for the motherfucking keep bossing out, nigga. The fuck is you talking about, nigga? So, do you have college education? I uh, uh, mm. Junior college. A little Junior bit. college education. Mm-hmm. But... Just a little. This motherfucker has a lot of knowledge. Yeah. It didn't come from school, nigga, or spelling a word wrong, nigga. Spell jizz in a bitch. Oh, God. <laughs> nigga, these are the words that count, you nigga. the version or the... No. That bag, nigga. Them the words that count out here in the motherfucking street, nigga. Don't nobody give a fuck about no motherfucking... Yo, hard working ass. What's the name of that word? That motherfucker soliloquy. Yo, sucker. What, what the fuck is you gonna do with a soliloquy, nigga? All them hard ass words ain't shit. Nigga, it's to <laughs> fool you into thinking you better than the nigga on the corner jacket niggas for they shit. The nigga on the corner jacket niggas, he ahead of you, nigga. What you gonna cut him with your degree? Oh, shoot. Start a fire well, the whole point is, <laughs> the whole point of going to school, going to college, is to be able to compete in the market. But if the people you're competing against, you know, because we always say stuff like, oh, well, white people, the Latinos, the Asians. Well, if the people you're competing against can bypass all of, you know, the benchmarks that mm-hmm. you got to reach, i.e., admissions, tests, you know, all of that stuff. If they have the resources to to bypass that by just simply paying for it, then how can you compete? How can you keep up? Sure, you can work real hard and get the degree, but at the end of the day, if you throw in the wrinkle of 
how, what kind of name do you have? Mm -hmm. Because we saw that report on the news where there's a bias in the type of names that are on the resume. So if your name is Shaquisha and you got two degrees from from one of these motherfucking HBCs, right? It, it, well, what the fuck is it worth? Well, you going to the sucker shit? They know Get like, one of them. Put them up there so the rest of them can feel like this what you supposed to do. Mm. And what they do understand about the HBCU student, especially the black HBCU student, is that usually they are way better prepared than the white kids over at Harvard and yeah. Yale. They way better prepared. Well, niggas got to work harder just to get in just the door. To get at, just to get in the door. So Everything you learn in college is right here. In this fucking phone. <laughs> I swear it is. I mean, do you disagree, though? What the no, fuck? You can get a lot college? of shit. What is in college that I can't I can't put I can't ask for on this phone? Well not only that, it's 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 charisma. They did a test, they showed they showed two people, there were some tests that they had. They said, Let's bring in this guy, he's got this high IQ, he's got these degrees. And bring in this other dude who's just popping and who got the job. So a lot of times it's the like, popping right, right. they it's wanted like, to be around the cool motherfucker well, no, he like made me. It happen. It well, he college did. is about networking. Mm -hmm. That's what it's, I mean, you know, my uncle told me that years ago. College my little brother is about, got a job. It's about networking. My little brother used to play college basketball, but his roommate was this white boy who dad was in the motherfucking um, um, syndication. They liked Jarrell. <laughs> they knew his background. They were like, Jarrell, you're a fine young man. You you, 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 you taught my you taught my son how to shoot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And depending on what college we're you at. you a job in the family business. Right. Jarrell, don't be mad. I said that. But, like, but if you in the Ivy League, you don't know. Like, the kid that's at your fucking, if you a black kid in Ivy League, say the West Coast Ivy League would be Stanford. If you at Stanford and you balling. Football, basketball, mm -hmm. and your roommate might grow up to be a judge or <laughs> something mm -hmm. like that, you know? So it's where you at. It's the networking that goes down that, that makes college like really, really useful. But in terms of really getting up high, these white people, boy, I'm going to tell you right Ooh, now, you it saw it. You yeah. saw a glimpse of it. Just, just they a, only yeah. caught well, Somebody two. said somebody had to learn this information to put it on the phone. No, this information is taken. All this information is taken and put on the internet. The people who created the internet didn't discover all the information that's on there. Yeah, the but motherfuckers act like I'm dumb. There's motherfuckers out there who try to make a point dumb than a motherfucker. They had to learn that to put it on the phone. <laughs> You stupid motherfucker. Everything is mimicked. <laughs> it ain't. The point I'm trying to make is this. It don't matter who got the information. From school. The motherfuckers who got the information. Even if they got it off the phone. They got the information. Now they might try to hold a motherfucker to a diploma. Or something say like Google that. is college. Google is college. Yep. That should be a t-shirt. There it is. Mm-hmm. Wikipedia EDU. Wiki, college of Google, yeah. The fuck, I'm a motherfucker. My, my motherfucker, if I got a child that want to go to school, I ain't going to discourage him. But I know the game, nigga. Ain't no motherfuckers out here getting it. Man, you know how many motherfuckers working in Starbucks with motherfucking diplomas from major universities? It's a lot of people it's with... just with debt, de nigga. With multiple degrees that are not in the field... That they studied, that they got their degree in. Right. Uh, I, I, it's a lot of people like that. Right. They can't get a job using it. But yeah, I mean, because they ain't got the charisma. I, listen, I was at this one dude. You a robot, motherfucker. <laughs> when I was in the music industry, I was at this dude. I forgot his name. You remember? I think the the magazine was called Spin Magazine or it something was, like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. I forgot something Lee. I forgot his name. But he said, man. Talent don't mean nothing in this game. He was just talking about the music industry. He said, man, my gardener could be the most talented motherfucker in the world. But if he don't have a relationship with me, <laughs> I'm not going to know about it. <laughs> right. He could just be outside right. with all that talent. And, and You're a gatekeeper. Right, though, in youngsters, this is pre 
internet, pre- yeah. all that social media. So yeah, but it was hard then. You had to get the in the gatekeepers. Mm-hmm. If they don't like you, what you gonna do? You think the gatekeepers don't know about me? Them motherfuckers. You know what they say about Corey Holcomb? Oh, he's an older, washed-up comedian. But they say that. Yes, I'm talking about all of the fucking um, uh, agents. In really? Ill- mm-hmm. Yes, because they know I won't play ball. But that's a lie. They know I won't play ball. Mm. The people they pushing ain't got a fuck. Do you know if it was a Caucasian comedian who had a following like 5150, he would be a superstar. Hmm. He would be major. They'd be like, this guy has a following. Woo, woo, woo. But my <laughs> following, for the real, is the motherfucking streets. The truck drivers of, of America. Yeah. The motherfucking people who can, who, can, who can stand to hear the truth made funny. Hmm. These motherfuckers in L.A. don't like that shit. They'd rather get a dumb bitch who fucking apologized for shit that she meant. Rather than putting a motherfucker like me who ain't going to apologize for shit I meant. But I, I, if I, will, I meant it, what the fuck? I, I will say this for college, though. And, and the Honorable uh, Minister Farrakhan says this, too. A lot of times with black folk, we just get in the wrong fields. Like, give us example of the wrong field, though. Like, like <laughs> sociology, or you know, some, you know. Wait, you, are you saying what is a nigga doing being a sociologist? Yeah. <laughs> like, first off, <laughs> you're not finna get that's a job. Funny. That should be a that should be a movie, you know. But but the minister is like, why not engineering? Mm. That's math, nigga. Mm. <laughs> why not science, quantum well, mechanics, quantum math, physics? Math is a trip. Yeah, Math is the day you stop paying attention, you never catch up. (laughs) What's that comic? This comic said, I looked out the window for 20 minutes in math class. (laughs) It was over. (laughs) Caught up again. It was over. (laughs) It was done. You need to have some discipline with math. Math takes discipline. Yeah. And the minister also said uh, agriculture. You know, uh, agriculture. He was like, these are positions that are wanted all over the world. IT, engineering, all the STEM stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and again, a lot of times we'd rather have the degree than the substance, you know, behind it. You deep, know what I'm saying? Deep, deep. Yeah. Like yeah. the substance. Like make, go for some shit with some trade. substance, you and then like you know. Say that again, D. They make they look down on and they make fun of people with trades. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, what? he's at mechanic school. Ugh. And then here you are pulling in for him to fix your car. If you're, if you're <laughs> a mechanic who is in the know of what's modern, there's a place for you. Yeah. Especially, like, just all the people who go into school for to be them aircraft mechanics. Look, they mm-hmm. they had the ground all in pussy-ass yeah, yeah. planes. Mm-hmm. Southwest Fleet. Ain't allowed to fly, now, nigga. Southwest uh, bought all them puss ass planes. Yeah, mechanics. Them motherfucking uh, they bought all them Dodge and Trepid airplanes. <laughs> Dodge and Trepid. <laughs> they been grounded. Ah, them planes and they can't make real flights where they' supposed to go, like especially overseas or something like that. Mm-hmm. They grounded. Southwest whole motherfucking shit is fucked up. Them motherfuckers be like, damn, we need a plane at LAX. Oh, let me see, uh, let me see. <laughs> Fuck it, Jack Delta shit. We got to spray paint that motherfucker. <laughs> Southwest employees be spray painting other motherfucking company planes. They jacked them. <laughs> <laughs> All these motherfucking jobs, nigga, college is for, college is for niggas who want to be able to say they went to college. Well, I, I believe certain <laughs> studies, like certain they were studies. saying. Like somebody said up there, a uh, black history studies. I mean, what are they going to do with that? That's the only thing. That they, what are you going to do with that after the fact? They like going to they go it, teach it. Where are they going to teach black history studies? Where would they, where would they teach In that? In a museum. Right. Oh, <laughs> be a curator. Ah, so yes. good. Yes. There you go. Okay. <laughs> but for instance, my son took. Cardi B house. Oh, <laughs> my, my son went to Auburn. And he took business. But my uncle talked to him and said, okay, don't take the easy business. He said, take the business that's got the math in it. Not administration. 
you know, yeah. not business marketing. Mm. Yeah, all that hotel clerk no. type shit. He said you got to build. He said if you're gonna take business at Auburn, take the business that will teach you how to build financial systems anywhere in the world. Mm. Yeah. But it's a lot of people that be like, no, I'm not fucking. That's the hard business. That take discipline. <laughs> That's the hard yeah. business. You ain't got time to go to parties if you're doing that. Mm-hmm. Right. You have to go home. Business finance. You accounting. have to go home and do your yeah. homework. Because if you don't do your homework, you're behind. Look, wrong field equals business management. Don't take none of that. Yeah. Accounting, finance, take those. Because you can build financial systems all over the world. Someone said my, my black history uh, teacher was white. <laughs> he just I believe you. Yeah. Then if you want to take a class that don't require a lot of knowledge, but you can make a lot of money with, um, um, take up like G spot finding class. If you can find a bitch G spot, you can make money out here. That bitch gonna call you up. I don't think you need to take studies for that. Yes, you do. It's a lot of people don't know nothing about no G spot. Well, that's why you need to communicate. So next time you're doing something, just ask her. Is it, uh, it? Bitches, it's bitches don't know where they G spot at. You learn by experience on stuff. You like older. That. You've had a lot of experience finding your. Uh, well, I'm just. I would imagine. <laughs> I have my master's. Yes. <laughs> Frank know what G spots at? How you think he stay in business? You know. What? Yeah, that was like in Compton, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hills. <laughs> yeah. He said it's like a cop that he talking about a club out here called the G Spot. Right. Oh God. Building financial systems for corporations. I know a lot of people in here, they, they listen in, in black and white, they don't listen in stereo. When you build financial systems, you typically build those for corporations or countries, right? You can <laughs> you can do that, you know. Mm-hmm. Jeez. God. Gosh. Somebody say the G spot shifts like te- te- tectonic plates. It shifts, D. I don't know. I thought you knew about the G spot. I don't know. Somebody about gave no us shifting. fifty dollars. Hey, what well, up, dope sack, John? Yeah, I don't know about no shifting. Uh oh. That's what I'm saying. Some bitches womb is shifting. Oh, I think you need to move. Somebody needs to move. They just knocked on the door. Oh. Come oh. in. Hold on. <laughs> Lift it. I just saw his t- his feet. That motherfucker touched the door and walked away. He knocked it. He didn't did like that. Hold on. Are you in front of the door? Is it I dope? don't know if I'm in front of that door. I could D, be. You me. can fit under there. Would you check? How about, how am I don't want to get You got on your jeans I'm get today. Dirty. Zoe, see if they need to move the car. You're at Let the me end. see what the hell. We be going. fucking up, goddammit. This is non college shit right here, goddammit. That guy has a main, a big business over there, though. I got, how about that? Huge. You see, how much, you see how much money he made? Yeah. It's you. It's me? It's Corey. Hey, oh. hey. Here. Zoe. Yeah. Would you, as long as you got my keys, it's just, it, my car, you just press the button. You ain't got to do all that shit, Zoe. So. You press what button? The, the start button. You ain't got to put the key in. No, yeah, when you get in there, you know. Oh, man, shit. Yeah, okay, it, it ain't like your car and shit where you need you know a key. What? No, I'm just fucking with so <laughs> ah, Hey, this ghetto shit, it happened, motherfucker. Where do you so, want it? Somebody say, anywhere, just put it anywhere, Zoe. Oh, Thanks, Zoe. Oh. Somebody say, Aries knocking on the door. Oh. Aries bitch ass ain't knocking on this motherfucker. He door. needs some milk. <laughs> <laughs> Scary ass nigga ain't coming over here knocking on this motherfucker. So I said, Corey, friend. <laughs> so I said, Corey got a de- degree in fast food management. Fuck you, nigga. You're in, what is that? Irrealism? I can't spell that pussy ass shit. Fast food. Somebody, Corey drives a Mazda. <laughs> He said he, so I say he playing so right. Why is he playing so? He just was closer to Give the Give me end. a car wash while you're at it, yeah. motherfucker. Let me go down to the juice spot down the street. Shine! <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. I'd have did it for him. We cool like yeah. that. Yeah. Zoe finna go in my glove compartment and steal <laughs> that motherfucking shit up out of there. Zoe finna steal knowledge out of my car. Oh, oh, oh you're stupid. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, man. Jesse Smollett got lucky. I was going to go in on him a little I, longer. If it, if it turns out to be some funny stuff on her behalf, she might have blew her career if she gets busted, that woman. What do you mean? Because, like I said, they had already leaked it, that she had communicating with his family. And she was like, no, I'm going to see to it that, you know, that they, that, they, that they give him a deal, like whatever the deal was. But there's some text, there's some screenshots of text messages from her to his family. Like right, her meaning who? Kim Fox. Now, who is Kim Fox? She's district attorney. 
she was first on the case and then she dropped out and then this other dude took it took it over mm. you don't know why but mm-hmm. kim fox you, you on the hookup side you better, you better hook up r kelly god damn ain't nobody that, thinking of him you see that right ain't like, nobody helping r kelly yeah no Oh, oh, yeah, okay. look. Oh, he had to back that out. Oh, shit. These motherfuckers. Y'all don't hey, Flaco, como estas? Look at DB talking her Spanish shit when she be around them. When she be around them, they be like, bip, 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 bip. That's Flaco. I don't He's know what they're saying. That's All I know is I hear them sometimes say, that nigga. Yes, they do, D. Do not. Quit taking up for your people. You hear that shit? Mira, huh? What that mean? What he saying, D? He's telling them how to move. God, he's telling them Get the fuck out of here. D lying. No, I'm not. He's telling them how to back up. What do they call Mexican women who fuck with black guys? <laughs> do they got a name for that? They got a name for that. No. Don't play dumb, D. No. I've never heard of no name. No. They ain't got no name? No. What do they call black guys? It's a name. You was telling me one day. No, but that's a derogatory. <laughs> you playing it all. What do you mean? No, no, no. What's that's the derogatory a... term? Mayate. Mayate. <laughs> that's the black beetle. That's that beetle that be flying around. That's what they're called, but they but they call brothers that. If if it's derogatory, if they want to get mad and say something, that's that's one of the worst words you could call. So that's what they call Remember. black guys? If they want to be derogatory, if they want to be mean. If what they do they call be... Mexican? <laughs> so, that's Zoe coming back, ladies and gentlemen. What do they call Mexican women who fuck with black guys? They don't have a name for it. You fucking lying. No, I'm not. Wait. Gringo. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do they call Mexican women who have sex with black guys? Here's what I found on the web for what do they call Mexican women who have sex with black guys. <laughs> Negrita bitch. Why no. would they call her that? She's not Negrita. What do they call? What's y'all nicknames though? They got everybody got a slur name, a, a, a fucking fucked up name. Frank knows. Frank, what did you learn from your studies? <laughs> that there's a slur name. <laughs> he laughed it off. He said, <laughs> yeah. "Frank is El Salvadorian." Say it's slur name just for Mexican. What is the slur woman? name for Mexican women that you don't want to say? What is it? I I don't I don't know what that would be. Hmm. Pregritos. What? Pregritos. Like pregnant? You're right. stupid. You're so dumb. <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't. I don't know. I got a Mexican lady over there at the um at the little, um burger place. Um, she liked me. At the fat burger? Yeah, she always put extra in my stuff. She be like, hello. Oh, uh, she probably thinks you're Dominican. Man, green. She, she probably thinks she you're said, Dominican. She said, hola. I was like, hey, bitch. She thinks he's Dominican. <laughs> oh, look at Poppy, Big Poppy Ortiz. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, whatever she think. Because you look like Poppy Ortiz. But she don't speak no English, so I can't Poppy communicate Ortiz. with her. I just be I like, just oh, hand. Hand. You just do hand signals. How do you say I want to have sex with you in Spanish? Sure. Translate into which language? I said, how do you say I want to have sex in Spanish? This motherfucker said, I, somebody said, Zoe is Corey's butler. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, they was talking shit with you. Motherfuckers. <laughs> somebody called me Jerome. How I saw that. Say, I want to have sex with you, fat lady, in Spanish. Oh, my God. Quiero acostarme contigo. Gorda. <laughs> Gorda is fat, yes. Gorda. <laughs> Gorda, bitch. Hey, Gorda, bitch. Come here. Ah, Gorda. Gorda. <laughs> Gorda. She's a Gorda, bitch. She didn't say it right. El Moisto. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe Farnsworth. Zoe, Zoe the Valet. <laughs> <laughs> just a bitch. Why do fat bitches like me? Benson. I never get real cute skinny bitches choosing me. I always get fat bitches. Even <laughs> because that keeps them away. There's distance between the two of you. Can Gorda you bitches. They can have a whole two, couch set together. Two big people try to get together. They never really connect. <laughs> I'm not fat. <laughs> Benzo. Benzo. <laughs> Benzo. What that mean? What that mean, D? Zo equals fun word Benzo. Benzo. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Zo make the store <laughs> runs. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some fucking ice. <laughs> <laughs> Zo equals Benson. <laughs> they they calling me Jeffrey. Jeffrey. <laughs> Somebody said, because you fat, nigga. 
12 years or so. <laughs> look how camera. good I ain't fat like I used to be. I still got to look good, though. No, but, and also the film. When they show these videos, you're like, whoa, I look bigger. Everybody looks bigger. No, he's lost a lot of weight, Well, he's though. lost a lot of weight, but I'm saying when people... I still got a good. That's but my But when problem. you see people in person, don't they say like, oh my God, you look totally different. You look slimmer. Yeah. It's This puts on at least 10 pounds. No, but I saw Corey Dunk when he was Recently. still heavy. Oh, yeah. That shit was crazy. It, it was, was a vertical. It was scary is what it was. No, everybody out there was like. Hmm. I still had that weight on me, too. <laughs> everybody out Uh-oh. Zoe, uh-huh. fetch it. <laughs> Go, oh. <laughs> Zoe, step and fetch it. Okay, motherfucker. They That's enough. Fat, These bro. sons they're of trying, bitches. They're trying to bring us further apart, my brother. <laughs> I did it for you, Zoe. Yeah. What you still out of my glove box? Uh- <laughs> He said you did some donuts in his truck. <laughs> <laughs> he burnt out. Hey man, that no. truck big as hell. Isn't it's way like bigger than the, the green one. Monstrosity. My truck, God, that thing is a monster. I'm monster. embarrassed you got in there. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> he got to use all the cameras. No, that shit was big, man. Damn it. What's with all these? Yeah, see the heat's coming. The warmth. Yeah, the heat's back. coming. Them bugs starting to be in this month. This is an intern. <laughs> <laughs> the ballet of reason. <laughs> Y'all ain't shit. Fuckers. <laughs> they said you stole his chain. <laughs> Woo. Hey, I don't steal. Um, the Zuttler. Okay. <laughs> we gonna go on get to it. Because I know D has prepared well for this week. And her, her college studies. <laughs> this is a part of the show that we are about to <laughs> yeah. unleash on America. It is called D's Loose, Loose Talk, Talk About, about Bullshit. Let me move my contact. You gonna pull your eyebrow? Pull my eyebrow off? Does that, it come on and off? That's your real eyebrow? You mean eyelashes and brow? Yeah, of course. I, I don't is mean, it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't I be around to, bitches who got wait, real do eyelashes. Know, do you know that I had to trim them for the first time? All my bitches' eyelashes out. have been plucked the fuck out <laughs> as oh, they try to take more? the fake ones off. You know, they, they glue them motherfuckers <laughs> on. And when it's time to take them off, they just be like, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. These motherfuckers got receded eyeballs. <laughs> They eyeball receded. Damn. Stupid ass bitches. No, no, no. I'm trying to Bitch, you my put, you put glue that you got to pluck your eye hair out? <laughs> You stupid ass heifer! You talk not, about why I don't be calling you. They're not doing it on purpose. They're just removing their falsy. And so if your like, eyelashes have been plucked out because of fake ones, you're a stupid bitch. I'm just letting you know. Yeah. I be seeing these girls without their fucking shit on, man. I be like, wow. Wow, it's a whole nother person. <laughs> that didn't stop you from anything, I bet. I, bet. I mean, you could still fuck with them, but no I'm thing. saying like... <laughs> It is real damaging to be around somebody that you know will pluck their eyebrows out They're to wear not some doing fake it ones. On purpose, Corey. They <laughs> but just think of the irony of that. No, I know. It is, I so my it. eyelashes look a certain way. I'm going to fuck the ones up God gave me. Now, what do you do when all the eyelashes is plucked out? They got a. Uh, no, they don't have. You can't. And you can't. They ain't got eyelid glue. What do you mean? I mean, they got to glue it to their eyelid. Eyelid glue. Eyelid glue. Eyelid it's safe glue. to get in your... Yeah. No, they got mm-hmm. eyelashes. No, but glue, you know but now- These bitches ain't got no more eyelashes. They no. done plucked them out. No, but do you know now they don't even use glue. They even have magnetic ones. It's a little strip to what? go underneath the eye. And they put it... And it just goes... These it's bitches like got magnetic. refrigerator door g- eyebrow. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. I'll... I'm telling you. Somebody say can't even recognize them. These bitches. Magnetic? Magnetic. It's like a little strip that goes underneath and they just take the top part and goes whoop and it connects. So equals Arsenio. Corey equals Eddie. <laughs> they ain't shit, dog. No. All right, here we go. Stop. Uh, no, I had to move it because I have a Somebody say Su Wu Hokum. No, nigga, get the Uh-oh. fuck out of here. Oh, yeah, because you got the. I see, I see this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you do look like you banging right too. now. Yeah, because you got Converse on too. Oh my God, you're so LA. I just bought some Converse oh, one time. Oh, I have to teach you how to walk in a minute. You really? You're life in right now. I'm thug life in thing. Oh, my God. Well, Come yeah, on over the here. the color, but I can All them L.A. Like. niggas talk. Come over here. Wait, what? <laughs> That's how them L.A. niggas talk. Oh, God. Oh, where are you hanging out? Get on over here. <laughs> what? Okay, anyway. <laughs> Update on the Wendy Williams saga. The crying bitch, Wendy Williams. They're saying, uh, they're saying that she was rushed to the hospital after she was... Um, 
Dope al- allegedly found in a very bad drunken condition. She was already on her set for the show, but then she left. Nobody could find her. Uh, word is that it all happened after Wendy discovered that her husband's side chick supposedly gave birth to a baby. Um, her husband's oh. side chick gave birth to, to a baby. baby. So, so is that the side chick? <laughs> yes, at the bottom left. <laughs> so he's got a type. That nigga don't fuck with cold bitches at all. That nigga <laughs> a regular looking bitch. <laughs> I heard he a big nigga who can fight or something. I don't know. Oh, nigga. He's big, he's big oh. nigga. I'm motherfucking. What they call me? Sue Wu Hoku? You know what? You stupid. <laughs> so I, I, crack, <laughs> I crack up when I hear this kind of thing. But, when, but they're saying that some sources close to Wendy have said that she allegedly um, does not have Graves' disease. And that she had, it was because she had returned to using substances, allegedly, because of what her husband was doing. That ain't why she did it. They are saying that she knew about the chicken and, and, and they even went on vacation. So when they'd go on vacation, she'd actually have a room in another hotel. But they're in the city where they're at. So it, that's, well, that's the kind of stuff he was doing. Anyway. But do you know that his, her, her husband bought a house? Yeah, of bitch? course. We okay. covered that before. We spoke about that when it happened. Remember? Okay. I don't anyway, know when it happened, but I'm just saying. Uh, no, not when it happened. Hiding. But he, when he it, ain't had. No, he's not hiding bitch. it. Like, you look at you, ugly and bitch. I need a bitch to kill. Uh, then er. yeah. <laughs> so, so they're saying Cute. that she. They're saying that she knew er. about. She knew about the side chick, but that she, her inside people that are <laughs> claiming that they're giving information to the press are saying that her only drop her only um, shtick, I guess, or whatever. Uh, thing about it if he was going to do it was just to not embarrass her and no children were to ever be involved supposedly like this is what her inside people were saying that she knew about it she just said don't you ever you know embarrass me how he gonna not get the bitch and pregnant? don't have any children seems now that uh she's allegedly considering divorce because p- her friends and people have been kind of telling her that that bitch if you divorce should. him you got to Hey. They said she. They all knew that. They all were saying that they never thought that he'd go that far. People that know them both. So. Why would they say he wouldn't go that far? What the mm-hmm. fuck? This I mean, is all know. fake shit. You I don't, don't like this shit. If you're married to Wendy Williams, are you telling me every day? Not only, not only the fact we're gonna get on the other shit, but first of all, she a messy bitch. Right. Can we? Can we? Can we? Yeah, do, but he's do, been around. Do we all both agree? Time, so we all agree on that. Yeah. Messy bitch. Messy. And on top of that, can you imagine trying to stay in love with her if you watch her put on some socks? It's over, nigga. There was something that it Any bitch wears size 12 putting on some socks, you you are going to cheat on that bitch. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Because of her foot size. When you see a bitch do this and she wear 12... We don't know what kind of arrangements they've all had. Maybe even from the beginning. Who knew? I don't know. What? You got to fuck that bitch. How you, 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 all the positions where you had a bitch feet. I didn't have some bitches with whoa out feet. Well, I lay them flat on their back and I put my dick in. Oh, God. Well, the foot is way back there. So the foot hey, behind you now. Right. Bitch. Bitch, why you like this position? <laughs> bitch, look at them feet. So almost like she has no legs. She got long ass legs. Oh, you mean all the way? But I thought you meant feet bent. A long? No, you lay them down. Literally, you can you can fuck like that. Somebody on their back. Oh, you mean they're halfway off the bed? They're, they're no, not- they're on the bed flat. Just lay down flat, and then you got to put your dick in with their legs all the way down. You could do that like from the front. Like planking, like you're planking. Yeah, like the front or the back. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the fucked up foot position. Wow. So you just so man, there. fuck you like that. Wow. That nigga don't want to look at your feet. This bitch bitch is out of here. I didn't want to see their feet. I was gonna ask him. I was gonna ask him. What are the sex positions where you hide the feet, but he ain't spoiling? Why don't you just put some socks on her? What? Why don't you just put some socks on her? You ever seen a bitch with a size twelve with socks on? Them socks got to be flawless every time. Just make sure they're black. What, it, it, what if it, a bitch had those white socks and she wear 12 and she walked on the floor and it looked dirty at the bottom? Oh, yeah. Look like Your dick sweater. is not going to get hard. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> what? I don't know. Them bitches be like, oh, suck your dick. You be like, I don't give a fuck how much bitch you put on it, bitch. <laughs> I have seen your feet. Mm. What is going on? I don't know. <laughs> All right, moving on. So, um, so we haven't heard much from rapper Tone Loke as of lately, but he sure made the news the other day when he got into a confrontation with an entire family at the Texas Midland 
uh, airport when he spotted a white teenager wearing a Confederate flag baseball hat. Uh-oh. Of course, it was all caught on video from a bystander. Tone told the teen, how are you just going to wear that in front of a black man? The boy's parents told Tone that he can wear whatever he wants because this is fucking America. Hey, buddy. And he was a, in America. Too? There it is, right You there, understand? Yeah. Let me tell you, Mr. Tone Loke, this is America, okay? Because we're wild things. You understand? Oh, you better stop. We've listened to your Tone music Loke before. Tone around my house. <laughs> Tone Loke live around my house. I always see Tone Loke. And we we got to the point now where we be like, all right, what's up, man? <laughs> yeah. hey, you know what I'm saying? The fuck? See Baron anyway, Jamal. So they said. Very chill dude. Very could, chill dude. Their kid could wear whatever the fuck he, he wants because they're in fucking America. And that he shouldn't be talking to their son like that because the kid is a minor. Tone did apologize for that, but insisted that he still should not be wearing that. Tone uh, then started cursing them out by saying, fuck all that Confederate shit. And then that's when the cops came in to handcuff him. Uh, they handcuffed Tone Loke? They took him into the airport. For uh, what? Just talking? They didn't say. And then they just said he that. Black. They said neither party decided to press any charges, so he was then released. But they still did it. They still handcuffed Do you think him. it matters if somebody won't press charges? He, look, let me tell you something. When I'm on an airplane, hmm. I don't say shit. Sometimes when I used to have that Twitter, I used to look at people and take pictures and put it on there because I sit <laughs> next to some funny looking motherfuckers or catch people with their mouth open and shit while right. they sleep. <laughs> but I don't argue with them employees because hmm. you black, hmm. they're going to call the cops. The cops are going to arrest you for whatever somebody said happened and they sort it out in the case. Hmm. Damn. So they handcuffed. They took him in. They took him into the airport police department. You know that That's little room up. they got. Yeah. Let's take him to the room. Take him to the room. Release him. See that. Like guy. you. Like no matter what happens, you 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 wrong. Mm. I'm on the plane one day. This white motherfucker got real friendly with me, and I was just talking about shit like this, and he disagreed. <laughs> You know, you can disagree, but he but was drunk he get, too. Oh no, that's not good. That's not true. Look, everybody has a chance. <laughs> oh, oh God! He was talking to you like <laughs> what? I was laughing. Oh. I was like, you this say everybody got a chance. This is fair playing field now. People when they see behind us, like no, <laughs> this motherfucker no. tripping. <laughs> everybody, this this country is built. For you to find a way. That type of shit. I'm like, There's a way, you know. You just haven't found it. You got to get on the you fucking... You stopped dreaming, buddy. Buddy, you stopped dreaming. What was that shit I said at the beginning of the show? The BDWA. Oh, the, the, oh, the, the, the BD... Wait, wait. Wait. <laughs> you want to get out of life free card. Uh, there are no get out of life free cards. Look at Jesse Small Lab. Look at him. He got out of it. Okay. You okay. could get out of it too. Yeah. OJ has a great life. Until okay. He served his time. Right. Get, the get the fuck out of here. He did what men do. ADOS. American. Wait a minute. No. American descendants of slaves. Oh, oh, oh. I'm proud to say, man, that was that was created at Dash Radio. Oh yeah. With, yeah. With 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 my homeboy Antonio Moore. Attorney Antonio Moore, along with his home girl, a uh, uh, political pundit, uh, all around intellect, pundit. Yvette I Carnell. That was something you put in chicken. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, they created ADOS, hashtag ADOS. Now they got the whole world talking about reparations. My guy, uh, Tone Talks. Yeah. Who the fuck gonna get niggas some reparations? Though? Well, what they've done, though, Yvette Carnell and, and, and Tone, they, <laughs> they've started the discussion. So you got everybody talking about it. He had a political. You know that. You know what happened if they if they do that. All the niggas who claim they not niggas will be saying they black. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah. They, oh we niggas now. now. As they still took all that stuff away from. Yeah. Them. Yeah. So you know. So it's a good, it's a good movement, man. It's it's strong and and they talking about it. They got yeah, people just get talking. mad at me. Uh, people, people asking for reparations. I mean, come on. You are asking the people who will make sure you don't have shit for something. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Mm. I might have misspoke. You got to take it. Wait, I might have misspoke. Tone and Yvette created it, but I think Yvette was first to say it. Yvette. Yvette Carnell, smart, Yvette Carnell. very smart young lady. <laughs> okay. Um, who was Yvette Carnell? He just. She has her own like YouTube channel. She's pretty I'm just, smart. I'm just, that's what I'm trying yeah. to put it out there. Yeah. Look up pretty, Yvette pretty Carnell. Goddamn, yeah. she want reparation. You know. 
Not just for herself. Not just for herself. <laughs> I'm just saying, so <laughs> there you go. Like He's it. a comedian. Yeah. Here we okay. go. Okay, uh, in my head. <laughs> you know how much money the Chanel store will have if they have oh, reparations oh, oh, for oh, niggas? Oh. What will we so do? So maybe they'll have help. Suck a shit. The Chanel store. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga said, to be like, yeah. 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 Station will be like, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga said, Hennessy this. will sell out across the nation. Oh my god. If black oh, reparations, oh, Hennessy right. will sell out across the nation. <laughs> <laughs> if blacks get reparations, we need to take Stop. our shit, put it in a pot, and do something collectively. But individually, I know what money is. Money is not something that you can put in the hands of somebody who ain't never had none. You right. can't do it. Right. I know niggas. I know a nigga who came across the money. He was an old army nigga, mm. and he got hurt in the army. Mm. He finally got some money. This nigga bought 12 used cars and tried to flip them. Mm. Mm. What the what? fuck is you doing what? with 12? You oh, so he started a house. Oh, oh, this one for 2500, sold it for 2700. No, wait, so he started <laughs> his, in a used car business. <laughs> this nigga got settled for millions of dollars. But he thought that was the shit Making 200 at a time oh, I, just, I don't know what to say This nigga said This nigga started to use car business hey, right. At least he was having fun And he didn't go broke though did he I'm sure he broke now Oh no I'm sure he But broke. I, I'm proud of those That was about five years ago I'm oh, okay. sure that motherfucker is back out here This, this nigga be pimping too A yeah, well, used car right. one, day, one day I was on motherfucking Uh Driving down Sepulveda. You know how this shit go. Mm-hmm. It was this ugly ass, ugly ass bitch out there on the stroll. And then, you know, I saw him because, you know, he my homie. He gave me five and all that shit. Then he was like, hold on a second. Oh, girl his? walked past. He was like, oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Damn, this bitch works for him. Boy, you got some ugly ass hoes, nigga. He can do shit They're with laughs. about the face uh, out there. Like, <laughs> Some guys are concerned. <laughs> ugly hoes. Can't imagine a pimp that just has a whole stable of ugly hoes. All ugly bitches. Your bitches is like bad inventory, like oh, Southwest oh, Airline oh inventory. Gosh, <laughs> the clearance thing. The bitches can't day. fly in the sky. <laughs> Defected in sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Clearance wreck, bitches. God dang it. Markdown. Right. All right. Uh, so. Shout out to the ADOS movement, though. Y'all oh, keep doing go. it. Keep grinding. There ADOS is. movement. Keep getting it. Get them reparations, niggas. So you Tone Talks, it. Yvette Carnell. Y'all check them out. That's right. So this yeah, story yeah. is a little scary for those that are still over there throwing their seeds up in all kinds of different women and stuff. Mm, oh, wow. You got a seed story. Huh? <laughs> anyway, uh, so a 73-year-old San Diego woman named Tony Anderson just received child support for her 52-year-old daughter <gasps> after the girl's dad had took off and abandoned them when the, woman, when the little girl was three years old back in 1973. What? She filed for child support back then in 73, but the dad had fled to live in Canada, so he wouldn't have to pay. But he just returned to the States, and they served him. He had no idea that there's no statute of limitations on child support. If there's a court order that was already uh, set in motion to pay, never goes away. Even though they added up the sum to be a much larger amount, they ended up settling with him for 150000 So if she's 73, then that bitch ain't going to collect all that money? No, the daughter's 53. That She got it. You know, my sister did that in 80. Are they black? No, they're white. My sister oh. did that. She, makes it. she did that. When she was 15 years old, my sister found her dad, and then he tried to have a relationship with her, but the wife did something to my And my sister said, F that. I'm not going to be around them anymore. Went back, went and got back child pay and got about 15000 This was in 86, because he had never given her a dime. So once she realized that the shit wasn't going to go the way she wanted to, she got the courts involved. To extort him? No, no, no. She was already, no, no, no. She was already asking him. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was promising her. No, no, no. I, I got you. I'm going to give you some. I know I wasn't there. I'm going to try and help you out. And then when the stuff went a little twisted, yeah, she was like, okay, I still got to pursue I wonder that. if some did. shit like that happen to me. She did it on her own, and she was 15. My mom, nobody ever went with her. She just went and 5150 Nation found my son. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I ain't never met the nigga. Somebody knocking on the... But Daddy. the bitch was married. Daddy. 
And oh. I'm sure that that young man don't know that I'm his biological father. So you're not on the birth certificate or anything? I'm not on nothing. Oh, well then, all right. Yes. So I could meet the little nigga and not owe. Oh, my first God. First thing I'll be like, first of all, I don't owe you shit. <laughs> you didn't know about What, that nigga? I used to <laughs> dick your mama oh. down after we closed Kentucky <laughs> Fried Chicken, nigga. Why does he need but to know that? Right. I know. He why? needs to know who his mama really is so he can understand why he going no, he through what he going not. through. That's no, he doesn't. If he don't know who his mama is, he'll never understand what he going through. He probably wow. going through the same shit. He needs closure. Your mama pussy was food Ooh, for the streets. Good one. I wasn't the only nigga at Burger King. To, I mean, at Kentucky Fried Chicken that smashed your mama. <laughs> your mama. Motherfuckers used to love working with your mama. Put me on the schedule with her. <laughs> now, what is the reason for telling him all that? God damn it. Because it's my first time meeting him. I have to introduce him the right way. Mm-hmm. What am I supposed to introduce him phony? Hey, how are you? You're such a great person. I don't know this nigga. I didn't know. I didn't know. Your <laughs> right. mother never told me. <laughs> Right. <laughs> anyway, all right. One day I closed Kentucky Fried Chicken with your mama, and she took me, took me to her house. You know, cause uh, the dude who you thought was your daddy, he was out of town, nigga. I was looking at a picture of him while I was in the. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, that poor chair! Oh my god! You hear this chair? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a ringtone, nigga. <laughs> You're right, at least we'd be eating. Oh, that's funny. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is hell, that chair. Um, poor chair. Look, oh my god. Oh, oh this ain't like the chairs Nate be sitting in. No, oh no, please. Nate no. be breaking chairs all the motherfucking time. Nate, we love you, nigga, but you don't want chair money. <laughs> you gotta pay chair support in this motherfucker. Chair, chair support. <laughs> Them chairs like this. Nate was in the motherfucker. <laughs> Cheers, oh. Well, he broke the second one. We was like, God damn, there's another chair, bro. You didn't know you what? weren't here. I wasn't here. And then he went and stole Frank. So Frank, yeah. he went. And he gave Frank. Frank the chair <laughs> that he bust over. <laughs> <laughs> them chairs, them chairs was out there picking it one day when we came in. Them chairs was like, Nate to B, Nate to B. I can't. Nate to. My God. <laughs> <laughs> Cheer support. <laughs> Cheer support, nigga. Oh, God. Nate <laughs> <laughs> is a chair killer. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Okay. Anyway. Charity. Okay. Charity. Okay. Charity. 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 <laughs> okay, so, yeah, we'll start a GoFundMe for chairs for Nate. Oh, All right, so remember we spoke about that male, the first male uh, Dick birth Sleeve? control. Oh. Birth control um, <laughs> pill two years ago. They are closer. It's probably going to be by next year. Uh, so they, they finished most of the trial. And My this dick already is, fucked up from pills. I ain't taking oh, no more pills. <laughs> No, but here's the thing. They, eventually, they will eventually get to, no, they'll eventually get to a shot. But right now they said they have to start off, it'll be pill form first. Because That's how they get niggas with that fucking shit. The, uh, the shit they want to put up the in syringe. you. They, they want know they niggas will do it if you say it's motherfucking birth control. Yeah, why not? Niggas be nothing and bitches like, nah, bitch, what? So anyway, they said what it's gonna do is it just puts your. You can still because too many people are like, can Don't you still ejaculate? Crazy. Yes, you can still ejaculate. It just brings your sperm count down to its lowest. So the motherfuckers it'll say still lazy have. Boycotts. So, the, but they can't rely on men to just be, um, you know, steady on taking. The pills, so they're gonna eventually and quickly. It says to get to a shot form of it. So well, they, they used to call it immunization. All that shit they want to call it. It's how they fuck you up. Well, it's getting closer and closer to it. They did this latest trial of the same pill is doing well because the first few um, had too many of the side effects. Now this one, they said most of the participants that took place in this study um, came out of it side effect free. So the first report, too many people had out of thirty. 22 had bad acne, headaches, lower sex drive, and mild erectile dysfunction and tiredness. So would you really take that just to not have a kid? It's fucked up because I done took pills that I know fuck with my dick. 
<laughs> I know my dick ain't what it used to be. My my sack my sack hang now. I got an old man sack now. TMI. TMI. My sack look like that damn little beehive off a tree. Okay. I'm talking about all pills fuck your dicks what back the up. fuck? <laughs> and last thing we want to say, congratulations to Dr. Dre's daughter, Truly. Truly Young. Just got into USC. And, of course, a couple of people were kind of making, eh, slighting it, like making a joke about it because he put up an Instagram, you know, a, a picture of the two celebrating. She received her acceptance from USC. And then he did title it at the bottom, um, you know, uh, you know how she did it, did it right way. Nobody's going to jail type thing, and then people were kind of mocking it, making a little fun. And then, of course, other people were saying, "Yeah, but then he and he did and give him Ice seventy Levine million, gave him seventy million for that entertainment wing thingy uh-huh. but, back in the day." But, but, but what they did was they kind of compared. They tried to be funny, and they compared it to that other girl's mom who got busted because the girl was like, "I don't really even want to go to school." Yeah. But, but what they did was they found an old post of hers. Poor kid. They found a post from last year where she's sitting in the car. That's the one on the left, and she's like, "Ugh, oh, my dad is pushing me to go to USA." So that people are like using that one. So they put that picture up like, oh, this was just a year ago. She didn't really want to go there. So no, anyway, but the irony, though, is that's like. That's what they're saying, right. He, he, she did do it the right way. She you did know? it the right way. But the irony is still there. Like, like huh, you did give huh, 70, $70 million. million. Him and Jimmy I ain't going to lie, man. I met Dr. Dre. All I know is good things of the brother. Good brother. Mm-hmm. Selfless. Help me out. Helped other people out. I saw him. You know, you watch people because mm-hmm. I observe shit. Right. Selfless brother. Yeah. Had people around him that he was helping out. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Big, much, much props to Dr. Dre. Right. You changed your number after you got that Apple money and they fucked your headphones up, though, G. That's funny. They Apple sold fucked it. up. Yeah, they they fucked up the headphones. They ain't no sold more. It, though. Ain't no more. They, they don't gone? Bump. They don't do bump. They don't bump no, no, like they used to. They still sell them, but I'm they took the volume out. When they oh. sold it to them, right. Apple, I mean, they, Drake got his money, thank God, but they fucked them headphones up, man. Well, she'll be going for uh, film school. Oh, dope. So she's a USC hockey. film school she, is she said, amazing. all my hard work paid off from going to film school. Yeah, well, that's where Tim's story went, and that was our guy. Uh, he was a pretty big producer right now. Oh, yeah, that's what's up. Director. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Devon Tim Franklin, Tim a, Story, yeah, a few he was people. In our group, he was down with Syndicate in the very beginning, and then he went to. Oh, he was in Ice T rap group. Mm-hmm. Right, you said our group. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was part of the. You was, was part. Of, you was part. Of you was part of the. No, no, no. I'm just saying, I was part of it. Uh, the Syndicate. Oh, you rhyme Syndicate. Yes, it was a you bunch rapped? of different. No, it was well, a. Why was you part it, of it? It was a conglomerate. It was a bunch of people. Not everybody. D is Ron Syndicate. What you do? No, to not, be part of not no. everybody was rappers. Okay, there were groups in it. There were designers. There were illustrators. What you do to be part of the group? <laughs> I took care of the head guy, and everything was well. So my wife is part of Fifty One Fifty. Then fuck. Uh, d- what does she do? Does she does she take care of everything, all the bills and stuff like that? She was part of it. Really? That when oh, when the Aries came up here with that bullshit, oh, uh, back when we had shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh and, and God! So I hate when I talk about Aries. So then we change up so. Don't change this. Oh, don't go on and nothing. Don't change this. So, so See, but you, don't, but you don't, in other words, but you don't have her fully involved with the show. But if she were to say, oh, yeah, I'm down 50 and 50, you'd say, no, you're not. No, you wouldn't say that. It was that. the same thing you said. No, but that's what I'm saying. So you why rhyme Syndicate you D? Say, of course. Where do you think that name comes from, Syndicate Queen? You never heard that? No. Me throwing at me? Oh, well, I'm trying to enlighten Somebody you. said Syndicate Queen, Thank Darlene. You. Thank what did, you. Where did the name <laughs> Syndicate Queen come from, Siri? They said D affiliated. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, Whatever you don't know, you just say fucking dumb shit, Siri. You, Sarah, go. you but fucking have fun. Over your hating. Exactly. Okay, you was part you of the group, D. You was part it's of It's not a group, but that's what I'm trying to tell you. It's not a group. <laughs> they say a group. D's duty was T's D. <laughs> with who? 
Y'all niggas ain't shit. <laughs> motherfuckers is disrespectful. <laughs> oh, Y'all niggas ain't shit. Yeah, they're just hating. They're jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said D the plug, though. D never have the, they said D was the bus down. <laughs> if that's how you want to make your sure. tacos at the store. <laughs> Actually, you know what I really did? If you read a lot of his interviews, Somebody that said the head guy. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> that's what I meant. That's the truth. <laughs> they said <a> defects. <laughs> That's the truth. Haters. Haters because y'all don't ever, we would never have a relationship like that. That's the whole problem. Now, anybody in L.A. knew D's status. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to let Anybody out know. here for He's sure in Chicago. Knew. He don't have any flavor. You've seen his car. How he got he got my son's old car and fucked it up. Get <laughs> the fuck out of here. Your son, when I bought that car, that car was a shell. Uh, it wasn't done. What I'm saying is It wasn't gonna get done. No no no. If it if it were to get done, we definitely wouldn't You're have talking it hypothetically. Like what I'm saying is you don't have any taste when it comes to cars. You from Chicago. What the fuck out of here? You for the please. Do you I'm think this lowrider shit go anywhere? Nobody's talking about lowriders. I'm talking about just straight. You said it's Chicago. <laughs> she said I'm from Chicago, nigga. We fuck with motherfucking big ass wheels and all I that shit. I saw what you did to that. Y'all fuck with little ass wheels that go Which on car are you talking about? Not, it's it's a what is it again? It's, it's a Chevelle. The, the Chevelle. And I got a seventy five lakh. Yeah, but what? you can see what he did to it. It's got a big duck on the hood. I'm a ghetto ass nigga, dog. Thank you. It's see, got a duck on the hood. Face. It's, it's, it's the duck from motherfucker. Remember that movie, Convoy? <laughs> Hello? Hello? The fuck? Wait. <laughs> Hello? My car gets plenty of attention. Yeah, I bet it does. Wait. Yes, it you does. You talking about... The black and gray one? Yes. It's a black duck. Oh, that shit's cold. I yeah. seen that shit. Hey, no. Hey, no. It's, the it's truth. a glossy black duck, right? I seen that. Yes. D, D, Did you see I the whole car? Car. D them had the car. They didn't know what to do with it. No, no, no. I didn't have it. I got I the car. It was in the LA Auto Show. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. No, what'd you just say? Yeah. It's a duck on your head. <laughs> Look, that wasn't our car. Our son went out and got that on his own, bought it, and went. Yeah, you can't do anything with it. Oh shit! You went. Oh, he oh sold God. me the car with tickets on it since we still oh, in the car. Shit. You are such a liar. You are such a liar. Two tickets was on the car. You lied. It was not. No, it was not. It wasn't even running by the time you got it. That's a classic car. He totally tasted down. It's a duck on your hood. Duck on my hood. I know. Hey, that that motherfucker not. clean. They say when sugar not free coming on fifty one fifty. Oh, gosh, I love you know, for Sugar Free know. to come on. I don't know, but I'll show you. That's oh. Pomona. No, they did. They did um, the festival this weekend. We missed it. You know, you missed the Wu Tang Clan. They did the festival this weekend. It was Snoop Saturday. It was for the Salute the Troops. They were all here this weekend. I'm supporting uh, Tiffany Haddish is recording female comics for a Netflix special. Oh, she is. And who's yeah. on? Dope. Dope. She's Dope. got. Um, I know one of the shows is Ada Rodriguez, who's been on the show. Oh, Ada. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sexy Marlowe. She was in Sexy Marlowe. She was in my video where um, I was. Um, well, I had on the tuxedo and I was arguing with her up in the, yeah. up in the stands. Yeah. And um, they also got Flame Monroe. I love Sexy Marlowe. Oh, you're Flame. Flame. And no. Ada. The, 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 Flame, you know you the weird homie. Flame is. Uh, Why he got to be weird? I you mean the dude he, who's dressed? Yeah. Yeah. He's the drag queen there. Yeah. There you go. That's the description. I just funny. saw that bag thing y'all did. Flame, but Again. let me tell you something. No. Flame was something funny. About Flame. Flame is not just a weirdo nigga in makeup and a dress. Why you got to. And all that shit. No, this nigga is deep. This nigga advocate for. Shit that motherfuckers don't look. He was with Kevin Hart when Kevin Hart was like, He don't want his son to be a faggot. Flame was like, Shit, you damn right. I don't want my son to be a faggot because his son, who ah, so Flame had to switch up shit he do so he could come to his son game. He didn't want to embarrass his son. Oh, 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 oh that's that. a daddy. Flame lived with his baby mama and the nigga he fuck with. Y'all sleep on this nigga. This is a different type nigga. Well, you said you were going to bring him on the show. I am going to bring him on the show. Okay. That's, that's, that's different as hell. Cool. I be having <laughs> to motherfucking prep him for my audience. 
Like it's people oh, that you I, don't think by now he can he's aware of something like that and then he can take. Come but Flame on. get the comeback. He's so quick. Well, so you don't got to worry about. I him. saw that bag off. That shit was funny Flame. between him and uh, Johnny Mac. Flame, yeah. Flame. Look, let me tell you something. I, I ain't and one he's of these a big motherfuckers. Dude, right? Who, he's not small. We well, ain't a real big nigga, oh. but he ain't that motherfucker you finna whoop. And I tell you, all them niggas like that, they call with them blades. But I'm just saying. <laughs> Oh, we got another motherfucker on time. I'm just saying. Somebody said Flame is Wendy Williams. Flame is Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams wish. Now, motherfucker, the thing about Flame, I told Flame, (laughs) Flame, you can't put these niggas on blast. Because, you know, I'm going to tell you something about this motherfucker Hollywood shit. Mm. It's a lot of niggas who fuck with niggas, but don't say they fuck with niggas. And the problem with the homie Flame, I'll be like, you get mad and you blast them niggas. See, I'll be talking hypothetically with them niggas up. This nigga got factual information on niggas. And I'll be like, hold on, nigga, do not come on here and put them niggas out there. Because I believe them niggas might try to sue. Like uh-huh. Aries did. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I was supposed to have a whole girl on the show today. Tori. Somebody Tori Hart. Flame is Ving Rames. Flame is Ving Rames. <laughs> Tori just did a uh, 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 our guy Ray Ray Grady That's show. That's right. Tori, Tori. See the thing about mm-hmm. Tori, when me and Kevin and Tori and all us used to hang when I first moved out here, mm-hmm. it was a beautiful time. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's what I wanted to come on here he and talk wrote about. All about that. it in his book. His book was good. That yeah, I mean, I remember. Cor- I mean, Tori and Kevin. We used to be bowling. We lead a bowling alley at four something in the morning. Damn. Nigga. That's back when Canoga Bowl was open all night. Damn. Motherfucker, we used to all kick it. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying it's like I just don't want them to come on here and not be ready for my niggas. That's what I be worried about. My niggas, the, the mm. chat room is not for everybody. Not for everybody. I remember that bitch Porter used to be looking up there like <laughs> she used to really get in my feelings. I think you Corey can't stop cut. these niggas from being who they are. They talk shit about me all day long, dude. I don't, but it don't bother me because I see these <laughs> niggas. When they be at my show, hey Corey, yeah. I'm take one of those seven niggas. I just want to say, right? <laughs> niggas in the wheelchair. My nigga Corey, let me highlight you. Right, my <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Most of these niggas are is Penny off Good Time. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, nigga Penny off Good Time. No. <laughs> these niggas got burnt with irons and shit no, like Penny that. Was Corey, can you shine my scar? You got burnt with the iron. Come on. Oh, I thought you meant when Michael went. He didn't know he was talking that. CB voice and it ended, the girl ended up being uh, and I met the lady who tried to burn Jetta Jackson with the iron on good times I didn't know that that was Kim Fields mama Chip Oh. I didn't know that shit I had to really put it together I was like oh Is she nice you tootie mama <laughs> you tootie mama you <laughs> 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 facts of life facts of life is she nice the mom at least <laughs> all them people be good to me I mean it was kind of intense with their work because they was directing but hey oh, man look only way I'm coming at you is if you come at me, motherfucker. All the motherfuckers, I be burning down. The motherfuckers did some bogus shit. Or they dick sucking. <laughs> right. On the wheelchair side of the game, yeah. goddammit. Watch this wheelie, nigga. What? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Niggas is popping wheelies at the concert, nigga. Right. <laughs> I cannot. Oh, shit. All my 5150 niggas are regular, but I just be having to get he them. regular. What? I have, to go, I have to get people ready for I just don't think everybody can handle my chat room I remember when Ada was on the show when we was at the other place oh yes and, and when they was, was talking awkward. shit she did she was she couldn't believe the shit they were saying about her like they was yeah see I remember this shit cause when I looked over there she was like we're like don't cause look, everybody can't handle look. the goo we're like just don't look yeah, just the goo out man look <laughs> <laughs> my home girl Dominique I oh, uh, she first came on here. I like Dominique. Yeah. So niggas she said cool. she looked like that leprechaun in that one movie. God. <laughs> niggas ain't shit. I be my mama want to come on this show. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> you know Wait, which one? You know. <laughs> That's, That's fucked. These niggas ain't shit. <laughs> They go in. They That's why I be worried about my guests. Everybody can't handle it. My nigga Gooch the, Gay, Gooch the Great wanted to bring Mike Tyson up here. Oh. I was like, man, <laughs> y'all ain't gonna have me in here with Mike Tyson. Yeah, and them niggas talking shit about him. <laughs> that nigga, what's the 
these guys are fucking disrespectful, man. <laughs> I think he's used to that. Come <laughs> on, remember, remember, remember he was that, that, that one black dude yeah, interview. Piece of shit. shit. Right. He said, you a, shit. You, you a real piece of shit. Yeah, I remember that shit. Oh, boy, was like, we gonna wrap it up. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna knock his ass the fuck out. <laughs> that was so great. Oh, yeah, man. So <laughs> oh, oh just, so that's the problem. Anyway, right. I worry about people being able to handle my chat room goon. Oh, God. But that's just who they are. Chat room people. They that's what I'm starting to tell you. They, they still going. Girl, you done got them going. What? what? <laughs> it could be somebody me. you know doing some dirty <laughs> shit. You done got, got like them going. <laughs> Get Tyson on. Hell yeah. yeah. They like, they want to see me try to calm Tyson down in this motherfucker. Oh, Get the fuck God. out of here. You're going to have to do the next clip. Tyson queen. ain't no Tyson. joke, nigga. Tyson. Man, I look at them old. Videos of Tyson boxing, I'd be like, God damn. And it's still this reflexes, is, God damn it. Right. Got it. You see, don't let a bell go off in here. <laughs> you see, you say don't let a bell go off. <laughs> go, go, go. Yeah, Tyson go, go KO Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Frank to cut that shit off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, speed it up! Don't slow down the jet. Speed it up. This is fifty-one fifty moments. I be sometimes I rewind the shit and I laugh my ass off. <laughs> I was so glad, motherfucker. I believe Genevieve don't come back that day because of that shit. When I was laughing at Frank, when Frank told me um, how him and Genevieve met, <laughs> no, I missed this whole she came story. Back after that, you silly. I missed the whole. Why Frank Genevieve don't come, Frank? Tell the truth. <laughs> Nothing. <There's no> <laughs> <laughs> she just disappeared, Frank. So coy. Oh, you know, cool. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he's stupid. Are you out there, Genevieve? Are you watching? Hey, Genevieve. Genevieve, Genevieve. Send Genevieve. Send in the chat. Frank, room. give it away. When I pay Frank, he take the money like this. Yeah, yeah, get the fuck away. <laughs> Darla can come on anytime she wants. She was here for my birthday show. Frank got Frank got a good personality though. Have you ever seen yeah. Frank upset? No, I've never mm -hmm. seen Frank upset. No. What sign are you, Frank? Bye. Yes! Pisces. Good people. Pisces. We're good people. Am I know now. Oh, happy birthday. You a Pisces too, D? Of course. I don't know Zodiac sign. Oh. All I know is Aries bitches is fucked up. Oh, well, now I'm Pisces. No, they not. All I look, I just start putting, I never paid attention to Zodiac no, sign. No, no, But I'll be asking these crazy bitches, what's your sign? Most of them say Aries. <laughs> I said, God damn it, this <laughs> chick got some realness to it. I cannot. Oh, Aries on. women are dope, man. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but then also it's 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 what your sign is too. So sometimes the compatibility is like Aries oh, women need to be smacked the fuck up. Uh oh my god. If you don't smack them up, they're not gonna respect you. Not but some of them, most of them ain't worth smacking up. <laughs> oh, you just be like, god. bitch, I don't care what you got to stay. You can't find me. <laughs> you bub ass bitch, get your ass out of here. This nigga crazy. Ten of them. No Pisces women to me be the craziest. Oh. Pisces <laughs> for me. See, was that a fish compared to you? Deep. What's your Because they stink. They fish. Oh my god. <laughs> Corey Zodiac breakdown. <laughs> yeah, and what are you? That should be are good. Are you bull? <laughs> I'm June. June twenty third. So what is Not that? that internet. Does whoever put that birthday on the internet? What the shit y'all put on the internet is bogus as fuck. People don't get that. Niggas that be talking about happy real. birthday, Corey. I'll be like, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got two of them. Thank you. Like, Thank you. What the fuck Thank is you, you talking about? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wikipedia, they can change that shit anytime. But yeah. what? You're so what? You're what now? You want me to say it? You know, motherfucker, cancer. How do cancer. I know? I don't know those. That's days. why y'all so tight. Pisces, Cancer. That's a good mix? Yeah, oh, Frank. Ow. Brother. Ow. What is your sign? <laughs> Gemini. Topless. Oh, <laughs> you've got two. Gemini. But you got two, too. My sister, Gemini, got them. I remember one day, she, she used to always compete with us. One day, my mother bought some bubble gum machines. And me and my brother got a couple of bubble gums, and she grabbed the whole bubble gum thing. Oh, <laughs> shit. God <laughs> damn. off bubble gum, motherfucker. What the fuck is wrong with you? That's hilarious. You guys must have been little bitty guys. Yeah, we was young then. All right, so we're going to take a quick break, God damn it. Because it's mm -hmm. 945, oh, God damn it. We're going to take a quick break. You got it, quick. Cause, on man. the ducky head side of the game. And we shall return, motherfucker. Is that going to be
150 records back in the motherfucking house for the song we made up right here, real, real quick, real, like that, 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 just a small left side, okay? <laughs> Hit it! I can't hear it. It ain't working? Mm-mm. We'll get another headset. There's nothing here. Mm-hmm. Grab mm-hmm. that one, Zoe. This, there's nothing playing to There you go. Mm. Hi, right, ladies. This the truth. Oh yes. When you are out there uh, in the streets, this is what really goes <laughs> on. One, two. I look at hoes, toes. 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 Get your feet right. Yeah. Your toes be seen. Your pedicure must be tied. Yeah. If not, the back of your heels look like crispy cream. Yeah, crispy cream. I hate to see a girl in the street looking fucked up, and her toes look like niggas bust nuts and let the shit dry up. On her ashy heel, bitch. I'm just talking how a nigga feel. I can't stand a bitch with fucked up feet. You look like domestic violence. Beat the shit out your shoes, the shit out your toes. We can't stand it with me. Bitch, get your feet right. Look at hoes, toes. I look at hoes, toes. You gon' let your feet be seen. I look at hoes toes Get your tailbone put together So when you walk, your feet don't twist and swing Look at hoes toes I look at hoes toes We fucked this song up, didn't we? did, wait, what? Dee didn't want to do it because she didn't want to say she look at hoes toes But I know you look at hoes toes, Dee I look at hoes toes Oh, shit You look at hoes toes I don't Cut the shit off, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, D got her motherfucking feet on. <laughs> you Look at that. That. Don't have to Brush that motherfucker. Oh, shit. Get your Flintstone <laughs> foot ass the fuck down. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck that shit. <laughs> zap, some say zap the first beat. Yeah, that first beat wasn't shit. Frank, who oh, sent that beat in? God damn. Fly that nigga out here so we can fight him. Whoever sent that first beat in. <laughs> So suck on hoes. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of people do have something about the toes. That's interesting. <laughs> if people you like a girl, you, you don't give a fuck about her feet. Well, you matter of fact, you attracted to her feet. Same as a guy. That's an ultra turn. I'm like, wow. And he's got nice feet. Wow. Some girls put nail polish over that fungus shit. You be like, bitch, you ain't fooling me, goddamn. <laughs> That red, yeah. Why your nail polish crooked? Oh, why has it got a lump? <laughs> nail in polish it? look like it's on a bed a little, that wasn't made up right. Got a little speed bump. Yeah, it's got a <laughs> 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 man, look, I'm just saying, man. This motherfucking shit. I, I'm talking about this shit. I don't give a fuck. No. Some days, when I take a chance and I go out into the city and kick it. That's all it takes for my name to be in all kind of shit. Mm. I remember years ago when I had a couple of weeks off. This was, this was, we talk about eight, nine years ago. I found out how it go. One day I went to this comedy club and uh, it was this bitch. She, I put it like this. She used to let comics live with her. So I'm a nigga. I was still, I still was young minded. Mm-hmm. I went to the bitch house because I just wanted to see. Because actually, some nigga was talking about how clean the bitch house was and all that. My stupid ass went over there and took a bath. Wait, a bath? Took a bath at the bitch house. You just smurged I'm a, I'm a, yourself. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a stupid nigga. I'm stupid. <laughs> this was like when I first moved there. Like, <laughs> it was way more than eight years ago. More, I think about it. It was a long time ago. Damn. The bitch might be watching this. Know who? Who know what the fuck I'm talking about? But anyway, my name was in so much mess. 
Corey tried to move in with so and so and all that shit. And I just was like, what? I'm just a nigga. I'm here to motherfucking check out the see what the lick read. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just cause that's that's the type of nigga I am. I didn't know back then. <laughs> but I brought that story up just to say. <laughs> as people know, I went to the Savoy. Oh yeah. And homie, when I tell you my name has been in so much bullshit since the Savoy. Since the last time you went? So not anywhere else. It's not it's not the people who work place. at the Savoy. Okay. It's just I, I probably spoke on this a little bit on one of the other shows. Bitches who wanna be um. important. Put your name out there. Start shit with other bitches. And none of them are significant. Mm. And I'm just saying, I'm bringing this up to say why a nigga like me is a loner. Mm. I'll be by myself most of the time when I'm in L.A. Mm -hmm. And at first it was weird because I'm in Chicago. I got homies. Mm -hmm. Niggas I, I know. That right. I ain't with. go over their houses. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Niggas who, it's love. But out here, I'm really like Shrek. I go around my swamp. <laughs> I mean, like, get away from me, swamp. I'm that, I'm that motherfucker. Donkey. Right. <laughs> but, man, my name is out there now. It's some bullshit. I don't like, give it? a fuck because I don't know the niggas. Or I don't, I mean, the bitches that I knew, they are insignificant bitches. They claim, bitches will claim stake in a nigga life and they know it ain't true. Mm. Bitches will say you they man. Because you fucked them one day. But that's a trip because why would women want to do that? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like. It ain't just women. It's a, it was a nigga also. Dudes that, that was too. That was at. It's a nigga I know from the Foxhole. No, but dude, what I'm saying. I ain't going to say his name. I ain't going to put him out there. Was talking it's, stuff? It's envious shit he does. Oh. He know a bitch that I may have fucked. And he always in the bitch shit. Yeah, you know that nigga married. You know that nigga this. You know that nigga. And I never gave a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But as the shit piles up, I be like, I be wanting to walk up to motherfuckers and be like, hey man, let me ask you something. Why my name be in your mouth all the time? Mm. What, yeah, did then, ever, what did I ever what did I ever do to you? But right. then you gave him what they probably wanted. They wanted that attention. They But that's why I never said nothing to the nigga. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? I hope the nigga happen. watching this shit, cause he know who I am. Somebody say speedy. No, it ain't speedy. But that just happens when you're. Uh, this is a nigga who ain't had no shit. When you're known, when you're known, that just comes <laughs> with the territory. Who ain't had no Somebody say Corey oh, smash oh. Raj G. Fuck you, nigga, you Darnell D. <laughs> 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 it ain't Damon Williams. This this is a nigga who just used to hang out with the motherfuckers who be at Foxhole. If I said his name, you'll be laughing. Don't, don't, don't. If I say his name, I give him too much that's glory. What I'm saying. I, I want to say his name. No, but Because I want to, it's my way of asking him, no. nigga, what the fuck, nigga? Why my name always in your mouth with this, with this, especially this one bitch in particular? I think he liked the bitch. I I should, like, it sounds like I should have came to this one. Okay. Like but it's like out. you never, you can never, how can I put it? You can never avoid drama if you hang out. In the nightclub scene, mm. it That's depends fair. on what nightclubs you go to. You tell me a nightclub where it ain't drama. I always go to my little lounges, but I dance. See, we don't just hang around and look at people. You remember the time we went out with Dee and she was dancing by herself? I don't care exactly. Well, what time was this? When we went to the movie thing, the premiere. Oh, the premiere, and I went to that party. And nobody was dancing. I'll dance by myself, but I'm just saying what I do is I go out to dance. <laughs> remember we was in San Jose? Exactly. Oh, you know what? I'm going to post that video up this week. I just found it and I edited it. Yeah. Of, of Pretty video. Tony. Pretty Tony. <laughs> yeah, what up, Pretty, Pretty Tony? Tony you all young? Hey, Tony. No, he was fun. He was a lot of fun. But see, when I go, I go out to have up. fun. Yeah, but I didn't get that on the video. He did pick me up. I don't know how he did it because he's, he's small. That nigga's strong. He is strong. Pretty Tony's strong, nigga. I know you're strong, nigga. The strength is in his hair. <laughs> he got the perm. He got the Samsung. Right. <laughs> he called me a couple of times. I, I'm gonna hit you back. I need his book. Instagram. I need that oh, so man. I can connect with him. But anyway, that club he took us to. He took us to an old school. But that's club. what you do with those clubs. That's where I like to go to dance and socialize and have a good time. Not all that looking around, sizing people up. They just drinking, looking at but everybody. It don't matter if you don't do it, bitches gonna talk shit about you. But who cares? But that's what I'm saying. You know the bitches who, who ain't cares? talking shit about you. The bitches that don't know who you are. 
But here's the thing. I'm out because I don't care. I don't care what people say. They can make up their own mind. People are going to do that regardless. That's what I'm just going to say. You know they do that. Of course. But who the hell cares? You know, you know how many motherfuckers? Around? Hey, Corey. Uh, you know that D. Get it. I be like, nigga. This is what I tell niggas. First of all, anybody with any kind of class wouldn't even be doing that. They wouldn't run their mouths. Nobody would say anything. So when you but find that's out that's what is, I'm talking right. about. You can't avoid you can't avoid drama. I'm talking about the people who don't know and the people who do know because everybody, in my opinion, not everybody, most people are envious. They really want to tear your shit down. Mm. You a tell a motherfucker. Oh, well, that's nigga, the you ain't why about shit. It, what you talk about? Right. And then later on, they prove not to be shit and they still act like they don't know what you're talking about. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So as I say, the reason I'm a loner is because I don't want no shit. I don't want nobody talking shit about me that might have some facts to it. And what happens, like, when you are the motherfucker who in the castle, remember, remember Beauty and the Beast? Mm -hmm. They were so happy when company came over. <laughs> Jumping they around. Be, ah, guess. Be our guest. <laughs> Put our service <laughs> to the test. Nigga, <laughs> motherfucker be so this happy. What? <laughs> Beauty and the Beast, the cartoon was the shit. <laughs> and they did that other shit with that gay shit. I was like, get the fuck out of here. But, I'm Who's saying. That? No, don't ask. Don't ask. When you a loner, okay. sometimes <laughs> you be so happy as company around you. Mm -hmm. You be, you be, you be. You, you, sometimes you fuck around and, and, and talk too much about your business, mm. or show oh, too much of your business. You've been around, yeah, because you're like, oh, I've got company, I've got people. Around I you. tell you what, motherfucker, mm -hmm. L.A. has taught me a lesson. Even though this could happen anywhere, don't let nobody know your motherfucking your business because right. they go talk about it to the streets. Guarantee, and the story get twisted the, the more it get talked about. You know what I mean? But here's the thing, though, Corey. You don't even have to share anything with anybody. People will just make up stuff. I mean, you just got to be prepared for that. Who cares? Yeah, shake it off. People can make stuff up. That's why I always tell people, really, like this. Yeah, so and so had told me this about so. Okay, and you're gonna believe this person? Why? No, but who is telling you? That's, That's what, what I'm always saying. Say. So what? Even if they're a stand-up person, that what they're doing is not stand-up. Right. So that already diminishes their character. Motherfuckers like, man, I remember Zoe used to have dreadlock. <laughs> So. One day he put some shit on there and it burnt the top of his Is head. That That's right? why he they, he Zoe he used to be straight all around. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's the type of shit you hear when you just hanging out at these, <laughs> at these clubs exactly. with these thirsty yeah. yeah. motherfuckers. Rasha Mir says, stay that? away from them weirdos. <laughs> but even if you didn't stay away, I, see you can't be a hermit. That's why I said I'll go <laughs> wherever I want to go. You can't be a hermit, <laughs> but you forced <laughs> to be in seclusion if you got some business about yourself. Not if you ain't got no business, I guess it don't matter. But I'm just saying, <laughs> if you're the type of person who don't want people to know your business, taking a chance with anybody is a gamble. It's 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 a okay. motherfucker, Bring especially the gamble on. these whack ass hater bitches in L.A. I I hate when motherfuckers get together and talk all that woman um, unite shit. What is what is this shit called? The, 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 what's this Me difference? too. Me too. All no. this shit. I'm talking about all the movements, feminist movements, all that shit. They don't really even support each other. It's bitches crazy. hate each other. <laughs> These bitches be on the phone arguing about niggas that don't net. net Y'all ain't even this nigga man. These bitches hate each other. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. I be watching the shit. Look, check it out. Let's run the. Let, I want everybody out there to run the Corey Oakham experiment. I want every man out here to just get some sacrificial bitches, bitches that don't even matter. Like it don't matter what happened, what they say, <laughs> whatever, and run them bitches into each other. Watch what happened. If I ran into look like check it out, so if I'm with a bitch mm -hmm. and she fucking some dude and we run into each other, I'm gonna be like, oh, you fucking bitch too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, I, I'm just saying, I'm not right. mad at him off top. Right, because you don't know him. Right, I don't know this nigga. Right. When bitches run into other bitches, this fucking same nigga is war, and they ain't even your girl. And they don't even know him. You be like, bitch, what is y'all bitches talking about? 
Both of you bitches could die right now, as long as they don't blame me. <laughs> I won't blink a eye, bitch. <laughs> I can eat wings while they scoop you all off the street. <laughs> oh, I don't give a fuck about you, bitch. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. These bitches getting scooped up. Some hot wings that burn my mouth. <laughs> Girl, that bitch, they act like that bitch. They don't care nothing about that bitch. Not what dead. the fuck is you talking about? I'm just saying. I know, but it's gonna happen regardless. But and it happens even uh, more so and worse if you make a habit of going to them same Try spots. Try me up, Mosley, when you come into Chicago, September, Harry Crown. If you make a habit of going to them same kind of get down spot, that's exactly what you're gonna keep in. Right. Mm. Uh, uh, that, that's what you call it, the get down spot. <laughs> Somebody said honey barbecue, lemon pepper wings. God damn it, <laughs> niggas yeah, like stupid. <laughs> God damn it, I could be fucking with my damn Facebook while they picking you up. Damn, they getting this one bitch up. Mm. But yeah, no, I'm y'all right. bitches arguing over nothing. Right, and I'm sure it's like that with dudes, right, D? No. You ain't never had no dudes argue over you. No. Mm-mm. Never. Did those ever argue over you? Argue? I wouldn't give him a reason. What do you mean? No. Why? Wouldn't give him a reason. That means if you got people arguing, he's you, like, you, hey, no, you putting situation. yourself out there, right? Yeah. You out there too much. That means you, you're dealing with people at the same time. Or maybe your pussy ain't shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> but do people really argue about stuff like that? See, that's where your problem Look, is. Look, if that pussy good, your nigga in jail. I'll kill you, motherfucker. Don't go near her. I don't care. Don't say hi. Mm, I don't know about that. I'm just saying, nigga. Anyway, no. Nigga's just possessive over that pussy, nigga. Somebody say, Ice-T and Melly <sighs> Mel fought over you. Ha! <laughs> 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 Funny. Ra! <laughs> 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 yo, yo, bruh. Ra! <laughs> 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 Flies in the faces, nigga. <laughs> hilarious. Hey, hmm. what? Hey, what are them niggas in jail for? Money Corey, Corey just be going oh. to them spots. Hey, been a lot. No, I don't. D, I yeah, really you don't. do. Don't we? Every time he I says went something, to the Savoy. Yeah, but you always say that. You be. I was at. You know, I was at so and so the other night. I'm like, damn. And he what? be like you parking lot pimping. That's when the drama happens with. I people. hang out at the Improv on Monday nights. There you go. Other than that, it ain't nowhere else that I go consistently. You just said the Savoy. I've been going there working. See, been going there. See how I say that? Been gone there. Uh, right. I went there about four times total. Well, there you go. The, you the want dra- it to be something that I'm doing. The drama be adding up when you go to spots like that. Drama come when women be around women. When I got videotape of women just seeing women. And then motherfucking be like. Oh, wow. Yeah, what the fuck y'all mad at each other for? Is he right about that, D? When women see each other, sometimes they get mad. Particular ones, particular times. When we went to that that Mimi's party the other night, there was a couple oh, of yeah. them. We walked in, it was just like, what in the world? <laughs> Why like, do women do that shit? I know. Dude? It's you like, remember on that Snoop Dogg um, CD where he was in there taking a shower? Then some bitches come in like, what the fuck? Because the other bitch answered the door. Yeah. I'm talking about it be bitches who ain't got no business taking claim on nothing. And they be mad just because another presence of another well, woman walk in. Exactly, because it's almost like, uh oh, there's those uh, like territorial kind of sizing you up. Like, look, I'm not trying to comb this room for the same dudes you now just talking to. Believe me, it's like, but women, that's, that's what it feels like. It feels like, oh wait, I've been saying it at church. You. Oh, for sure. Women marking territory at church. I didn't see it at church. Oh, Bitch they is be supposed to be there to praise the Lord. Checking each other. They mad? Who else there? fucking the preacher? Or what do they have on? I've seen that. Well, I've and seen the, the I've shame. seen the clothes thing. Yeah. But I haven't really paid attention to who's fucking the preacher. Oh yes, what? up in the front. I didn't, I didn't they just, they it. know as soon as they walk in, he gonna want to fuck her, and they be mad at the bitch, and the bitch ain't did nothing but be desirable. The last couple of stories that this I her know first churches day, that went her down, first sermon, churches that burnt like that 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 collapsed, like in other words, they don't exist anymore in L.A. Those two, the last two big ones, was because of that. Because Somebody say Corey around. always get into some wah 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 shit. Can't help it though. See, all I got to do is show up, and the drama go and it's Paul McGregor. I done got on airplanes, and it was drama. Motherfucker, this this one bitch checked the other bitch for trying to take a picture with me. Do you know him? What make you think he want to take a picture with you? Really? Even though that's how I felt, what? but the bitch just wanted to say that to the bitch anyway. She was because the other bitch was cute who wanted to take the picture. Uh, <laughs> she was she was, right. she was doing her to getting her little right. shot in. God damn it! But that's I'm what a, I just I'm told a protect you. 
the and bear. The Bill Duke door. looking bitch was like, what the fuck make you think he wanted to take a picture with you? This man is sitting down on the plane. And I laugh at shit like that. Of course, because it's just pathetic. It's just sad. <laughs> what, the Bill Duke looking bitch? Come on. <laughs> I'm going to have me some fun. I'm going to have me some fun. <laughs> What's it say? Long, yes. tall Sally? She Bill Sweet? She got everything. The fuck y'all need? I'm going to have me some fun. I'm going to have me some fun. On the bread. Right. I, yeah. I, I rewind that part all the time. When he take that shirt off, she got everything. The fuck y'all need? I know them cameramen was rolling when they saw his mouth in here. I when see he you. <laughs> right. I see you. Look over there. Them trees. Oh, my God. I know they, they probably <laughs> cut it. They was like, we need your lip to poke out a little more. All right, that's it. No, you say shiver. Look over there. <laughs> there goes, look. <laughs> <laughs> I it's see it. you. In them trees. <laughs> that Wait. shit was dope as hell. <laughs> you see it? And he poked his jaw, yeah. too. I see, see you. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was fire. Ooh. It's mainly bare bill bitches that cause all the drama, Here but sometimes it's Here all the go. bitches. They just... They just hate bitches. They hate they hate competition. Paddington Bear built. Paddington Bear built bitches. <laughs> yeah, their dads didn't build them up. Yeah. <laughs> Corey, you coming to Alabama? Yes, week after next, nigga. I'll be at the motherfucking Star Dome. I found another gorgeous chocolate sister I like. Where? That's known? In Alabama? No. Oh. Where? In the movies. Oh. In the movies. Who? Who? I, I told you, I just saw, uh, what's the name of that movie? Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. The chocolate sister in the movie. Oh, I'm going to look at awesome. Captain Marvel because I, I know the, the other um, Avengers is coming out and you probably need to know yeah. something about Captain Marvel because yeah. she's going to save the world. They got a bitch saving the world. Yeah. Had about it so long as you were <laughs> like, she saved you. Captain Marvel. Yeah. She was bitch. gorgeous. I don't know what her name is, but she was gorgeous. Gorgeous bitch in the movie. She was better than Captain Marvel? Yeah, <laughs> to me, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, she was awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna be motherfucker. <laughs> hey, look, we coming down to Austin, Texas this week. Me, <laughs> D Ray, uh, Country Wayne, a couple of us at a show. I don't know the name of the place, but we gonna be in Austin, Texas this weekend, Saturday, at a show out there. <laughs> That's fucked up. I don't even know the name of the place. Yeah. Me, Saturday, had a show out there. Right. Look it up. Look it up. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> then we come into the Star Dome. We got to that. Listen, Damn. Corey, you coming to Zimbabwe. Right. Get out there and cut up. Mm-hmm. Somebody say, Corey, come to North Carolina. <laughs> I get it. That's clever. Mm-hmm. I'll be out there soon. Get them. North Carolina. We I already did Charlotte this year. We got to do uh, Raleigh. They got a new comedy club in Raleigh. It's an improv. It's oh, nice. Beautiful. Really? Wow. Beautiful. Like, I normally brand, come like to built ch- from the ground up? Or, oh, you know? built from the ground up. Wow. It's dope. They building them improv okay. around the motherfucking nation now. Yeah. Nice. Them motherfuckers made dope. What y'all doing this? What y'all doing next weekend? Y'all should come to Alabama. Next weekend or this weekend? <laughs> next weekend. So not this coming Alabama. Weekend. Birmingham. I ain't been to Alabama. You got your books? Car. Yeah, I got books. No, let me tell you Whoa, something. Oh, I could bring my shirt. The people of Birmingham? Yeah, I got books. They support. Birmingham, Alabama? Yeah. Mm. Man, them niggas be out there deep. I love yeah. coming to Birmingham, Alabama. Mike. Y'all buy your tickets now. Man, Birmingham. have to come on through to Alabama. Right. Birmingham. I ain't been to Birmingham. Birmingham. I might. I got I got a new load of uh, shirts. Maybe I'll bring some. Bring you bring your shirts, D. I'll they have buy them motherfuckers. Yeah. Them, them country ass niggas. D come on over here, good. Oh, let me put my butter knife up. Hey, look here. It's another cartoon character. Goodness <laughs> no, sake. that's how they talk for real. Oh, let me put heavy. my butter knife up. Right. Butter knife. Hey, get your goddamn man over here. Girl, yeah. I got a gold tooth <laughs> red jet for you. Right. <laughs> 14K? <laughs> I'm fucking with y'all. My niggas in Birmingham. Hey, Krista, if you be there. Uh-huh. <laughs> Bur- Birmingham, Birmingham okay. is actually a nice city to visit if you're going to Alabama. Birmingham. I've been there before. 
That ain't no old shit. They got new modern shit. Everywhere in the country, they got modern shit. Mm-hmm. They got the whole Chipotle mall. That's what I call them. It's, they gave it the upgrade. It's the strip mall with a gentrification. Chipotle, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, a DXL. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They all look the same mm-hmm. across the nation. Foot Locker. Right. They got a few little things in there. Yeah. yeah. Some Jamba Juice. <laughs> right. Whole Foods. Yeah, yeah. Whole Foods. Goddamn it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Burlington Coke Factory in that motherfucker. That'd be packed. Be packed out in Burlington. Burlington? Niggas be in that long ass line, goddamn. Hey, but yeah. I just feel like that'll be a good city for motherfuckers. Like, if we're gonna do it. Somebody said Beham. There you go. We could do a 5150 show, like, before the show. Yeah, that would oh, be like dope. A live thing, get yeah. the early like like. With, yeah, oh, I was gonna say what, what like Jamie used to do with our show beforehand, so they yeah. can come beforehand, do the okay. Yeah, I would do like a live little mini eight fifty one fifty before it. Yeah, oh, that would be, be nice. Yeah, so we'll think about it. Okay. Let's make that happen. Yeah. Let them know it's by just next right week. right now, goddamn it, it's spring break time. Them motherfucking flights, they be like, Ooh, that's eee. true. That is Both true. Thousands. <laughs> 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 Round trip, We're gonna money. We're going to try to make that work. Yeah. 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 And we're going to do it the next 5150 show. We're going to announce it. And oh, that'll be fly. announce it on the Instagram. Yeah, yeah. that'll be dope. Okay. That, that's also a nice club to bring that band down that did Sneaking Out Your Bitch Crib, the Moody Brothers. Oh, yeah. Because they got a big stage in Birmingham. Mm. That'll be dope. Sneaking out your bitch crib. I had myself a good time. Sneaking out your... Anyway... All right, so we gonna wrap this shit up one more again. God damn it, Frank over there on the internet surfing hospitals in this bitch. Yeah. Motherfucking D scratching her back with a cricket scratcher. It's not a cricket scratcher; it's a back scratcher, and I can scratch yours too. I can scratch yours and not D be got the you. gadget. Does she really have one? Man? Look a at that. Carnival back scratcher. You, <laughs> where you buy a back scratcher in February? At? February? It's not seasonal. They not? No, you're back can itch anytime, Corey. Okay. Right. Have to be summer. I'm going to be on Zoe's show tomorrow. <laughs> Come through, my nigga. We going to cut up like normal. You Come already through, know. God damn it. You already got your topic, don't you? You already know. Yeah, we gonna, I'm going to come through Zoe's show tomorrow. I want to have one of his guests jump on me. All Zoe oh, guests be, Lord. be ready to fight my ass. It's all men tomorrow. You know we're going to be in there cutting up. Zoe man. be showing me love. Like, as soon as I come in, he let me sit down. No matter who else there, them niggas be like, it's like them bitches we was talking about. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> this nigga you know, says all love, man. Wants. Right. You got his back like that. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I'm just talking shit. Anyway, 51 motherfucking 50. We lived again. We proud of it. We'll see y'all next week. Yo, mama.